So what's life like in that seven and a half by eight foot cell where he is? In, well, and what does the future hold? We're going to get an inside look at prison life for white collar criminals. Larry Levine is the founder of Wall Street Prison Consultants. He himself served 10 years in federal logups for securities fraud and narcotics trafficking. He is now on supervised release and joins us this morning from Los Angeles. Good morning. Good to have you here. Good morning. Great to be here with you. So give us an idea. We know that Bernie Madoff isn't happy. His attorney has already filed an appeal saying my client should not be behind bars, but he is in this seven and a half by eight foot cell. What is life like for Bernie Madoff right now? Well, I don't think Bernie probably has slept much since he's been in there. He's in isolation and the correctional officers most likely are coming by shining a flashlight into his cell every five or ten minutes instead of every couple hours because we have, I believe, Bernie on suicide watch. Uh, they can't let anything happen to him, and they most likely have him on psychotropic medication. Wow. And as far as the attorney filing an appeal to get him out, they have to show that the district judge, Judge Chin, abused his discretion by taking Bernie into custody, and he really didn't because he has the authority to do it. Right, and not, and not a lot of sympathy either on his side these days. Once he is sentenced, what kind of facility will he be in? What will his days be like? Because as we're told, uh, in fact, one person said, I think the only way Bernie Madoff, they believe, is leaving here is in a box. That was me, quoted everywhere. Okay, I did a custody score on uh, Bernie Madoff myself using Bureau of Prisons policies, and he's going to go to a medium, a medium institution. Not a club fed minimum, not a, uh, not a low. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a medium. Medium prisons are dangerous places. It's cell living. It's not dormitory living. And, and he's it, not going to be in isolation. He'll be in a cell with another, with a cellmate. Eventually he will, once he makes the transition. Right now, he, he doesn't have anybody in a cell with him. They have him what's called the special housing unit at MCC. Mm -hmm. And he's on suicide watch. He's got to be. And he probably is wearing a paper jumpsuit also. I, I, gotta, I have to, I, we're, we're running really short on time, but I think it's interesting to a lot of people. You run this service, after you spend 10 years in jail, you charge between one and $10,000 to your clients. It adds a lot of outrage when people learn, I can pay someone to tell me how to make life easier behind bars. Is well, that really what you do? I help people make the transition. You know, once you get behind the fence into a prison, it's a different world. Life as you know it has changed. Uh, all the rules of society have been thrown out. You can't trust anyone. You got to watch your back every minute. And a medium where Bernie's going is a dangerous place. I forget the person's name, but um, one of the people, I believe he was in the Jewish Defense League or something, went to a prison in Phoenix, a medium prison in Phoenix, mm -hmm. after he threatened to blow up something after 9 11, and he got killed there. Somebody took a brick and smashed it into his head. Well, a lot of people will be watching to see how Bernie Madoff is received and, and what happens there. Larry Levine, thanks for your time. Welcome to be here.